Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5 subject EVS environmental studies chapter 11 nature of matter part 6. In the previous videos we have been learning about what is the different nature of matter and what are the three states of matter? What are they? Solid, liquid and gas and how they change in state of matter. So I will be reading out from uh, page number 148. Please keep the textbooks with you and uh, have a pencil in your hand. So that if there are any activities, let's do it together if possible. Okay, so to begin with, we learned about sublimation. We learned about changes in the state of matter. So now, what is mass? Now, there is an activity in page number 148. Measure the weight of different objects using physical balance in your school with your friends and note down the weight. See examples given. Rice, 5 kg. In your, in your house, when you go to buy something, you can measure these things and see. When you're buying certain uh, things to your house, it is weighed and then we buy it. Right? Yes. So, what is mass? Mass is the total quantity of matter cohering together to make an object or a substance. Cohering together means it is present together. That means to it now if you are holding phone in your hand, that phone is made up of a certain quantity or a certain mass. Okay, that mass cannot be changed unless until you change it. Okay, the mass is measured in terms of weight like uh, kgs or uh, grams like that. Okay, so the SI unit, SI means standard unit of mass is kilogram or kg. Now, the different measurements of weight are 100 milligram mg is equals to 1 gram. 1000 grams is equals to 1 kg. 100 kg is equals to 1 quintal. 1000 kg is equals to 1 ton. Okay. So, these are the general measurements of weight that we use in our day-to-day -day life. Next, there is one activity. Learn from elders about tools used to measure the quantity of the object in olden days and right here. I hope you will do this activity at your home. Okay. You can take the help of your parents. Then in page number 149, there is density. D-E-N-S-I-T-Y. What is density? It is, um, what is density means? Now, it is uh, now this question is in your textbook also and they have given two lines to write the answer. Write down these answers in that place. Okay. It is generally said that the cotton is light and iron is heavy. Why? Why is cotton light and why is iron heavy? What is the matter? It is because cotton is easier to lift so it is lighter. Okay. It is difficult to lift up a cylinder uh, the gas cylinder, isn't it? But it is easier to lift your clothes. Like that. Cotton is easier to lift, so it is lighter. When two objects of same size are measured, one may weigh more and other may weigh less. Generally, we say that the density of the less weighing objects will be less and the density of the more weighing objects will be more. And now, that means... The, the the density of the bigger object will be more and the smaller object will be less. Next, there is one activity. Pour a cup of water and a cup of oil into a glass jar. They won't mix together and will be seen separately. Why? This you can um, you can test it anywhere, children. You, you can just take a spoon of uh, water and just drop two drops of oil or two, two or three drops of oil it starts floating up it does not mix with the 
water that is because the density of the oil and the density of the water is different so what is density density is the amount of mass contained in a unit volume unit means one okay unit means one so density is the amount of mass contained in a unit volume si unit of density is k uh, kilogram per cubic meter kg bar m cube so kilogram per cubic meter si unit is nothing but the standard unit so what is density density is the amount of mass contained in a unit volume generally density of the solid is more than that of liquid and the density of the liquid is more than that of gas why because if you drop a, the density of the stone if you throw a stone in a glass of water it drops down why the density of that stone is more than the density of the water even if the quantity of the water is more okay so there is one activity given in page number 150 list the objects with lesser and less and higher density so i have done two examples for you remaining you can do it on your own okay less density oil has less density higher density water so the oil floats on water cotton has less density iron has more density feathers have less density the bones the bones we have bones right the bones have the higher density next is pressure so what is pressure now there is one activity given take a tumbler containing water place a blade horizontally it floats horizontally means like how you can see in the first picture it floats place the same blade perpendicularly perpendicular means 90 degrees to the water to the surface of the water see what happens what happens is nothing but the what the blade sinks down okay why does the blade sinks down because the density per unit volume is much lesser when the blade is kept perpendicular okay horizontally when you keep it the uh, the density per kilogram or per unit is much lesser that's why it floats okay then uh, we'll a uh, proper definitions of um proper definitions of pressure we we'll learn in the next class children stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you